Okay, so this video is going to be showing you how to get the Humber channel on your uh, Wii um, without a computer or a laptop or a PC, whatever you want to call it, um, just using your phone or a tablet and a micro SD card and a micro SD card adapter, of course, to fit it inside your Wii. So, obviously, you need a micro SD card, you need a micro SD card adapter, as you can see. It makes a small SD card into a bigger one that fits in your Wii. So, um, you're going to want to go to this website and then you, in your settings, go to your Wii options. And then settings, and then I'll link this uh, website in the description. It's please.hackme.com and system menu version in the top right. It should say version 4.3u. If it doesn't, then change it to whatever it does say on here 4.3u for me, and then your MAC address. You'll find it by on the second page going to internet and then go to console information and it'll show you your MAC address. I'm not going to do that. And <clears throat> you just copy it straight here. This is a fake one for an example. Um, then you make sure the bundle hack me installers there. I'm not a robot. Do that, and it will do ask you to do storefronts, whatever, whatever it is. And then select cut the red wire or the blue wire, and it should download a file. And here is where I suggest everyone to download ES File Explorer. Um, because everyone's my files, file explorer, file manager is different and some people don't even have that application on their phone or tablet. So if they install this, um, one, they have one and two, they could follow my exact lead. They could do every single thing I do exactly so they don't mess anything up. So let's go ahead and open it and then obviously get started, start now. And as we can see right here, internal storage and SD card. So we want to go to internal storage and go to downloads and you should see a letterbomb.zip and what you want to do is hold that down and it'll be like that and then you want to go in the bottom right where it says more and then press extract to and then go ahead and press ok and it will extract it and just just press back out of this don't don't read it so and then you see letterbomb zip you see you no know, you see a letterbomb file you want to open that and you see private apache boot.elf you see all the stuff in it you want to hold down one of them and just tap all the rest of them you don't need to hold down every one of them and then you want to go in the bottom left where it says copy press that and then swipe left if you like me i'm kidding swipe left and go to sd card and just paste it there and you probably will get this um you need to allow um es5 you need to allow this device to give access anyways you just need to press select in the bottom right it should say select and you may have to go up here in the top three things to press select but just just right here, and you should be able to press select, and it should copy it. They made it so like you can't edit stuff in the SD cards anymore with third-party apps. I don't know. So you should do that. If you cannot do that, hopefully you have a My Files application that's installed on your tablet or phone or whatever. And then obviously go to your internal storage, go to download, and then go to Letterbomb, and then copy all of this stuff, just like what we did with ES File Explorer. Just copy all that stuff. And then top right three buttons, copy, and then just copy it straight into your SD card if the ES File Explorer isn't working for you. So once you've moved everything in your SD card, you want to go to storage and you want to unmount it and put it in your micro SD card. Unmounted. So you want to go pop in your micro SD card adapter. And it can be pretty much any size, whatever. Micro SD card can be any size. So pop it in the Wii, that lights up blue. Let's go to messages. And as you can see right here, there's a message, but let's ignore that one. You gotta press plus or minus until you find a letter that pops up blue or red and it has a micro SD card in it. And you can see it right there, it popped up. Um, yeah, you may have to go uh, forward a few days or back a few days. And if we select it and press A on it, and it shows the SD card thing right there. If we uh, select it, it'll come up with this. And I'm not gonna install the homebrew channel. And it'll come up with this and it'll say this for like 20 seconds it's pretty annoying but they just want you to know that if you paid for it then you've been scammed for money so yeah um then it will take you to install the homebrew channel i do suggest you look up a video of how to install the homebrew channel on the wii and obviously they're going to do it with a laptop or computer but i showed you how to do it without um a laptop or computer just with your phone or tablet and then just skip to the part where they go to this part and they will show you how to install it it's really simple to install it and it will say press 1 to continue any second now. Um, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. The home channel installed. So once you do install it, I'm going to turn my Wii off. Once you do install it, um, you should go straight in it. But then I do suggest you press 
the home button and then go to exit to ex exit to system menu um, and it should show up at the homebrew channel um, on your main page of the Wii so I'm gonna take the SD card out you can take the SD card out anytime you want you don't need to turn the Wii off and take the SD card out I had to learn that the hard way because for months I've been turning the Wii off and then taking the SD card out but that was like eight, two years ago or something <laughs> times have passed now so yeah as you can see you should get the homebrew channel on your uh, homepage and then also in the description I will link this link link this link um, of, of two, no, four files that you're going to need, need to download. <sighs> and if you don't really trust me, then, which you, I mean, I don't know, I'm not going to do anything. So you could just look up webrew.org and then download Gecko, Gecko OS and download Cheat Manager, which, you know, anyway, so just, just do it. It's so much easier and faster. Um, you should see an apps.zip, black ops, black ops, black ops. You want to, if you have a Google Drive application installed, open up the Google Drive application uh, that way, and then you will download it from there. But for some reason on Chrome, like, I don't know what, what it is about it. You can't download it, like, straight from here. Like, you try to, but, it, it just, like, there's no download option. So what you have to do, or what I found what you had to do, is you got to press these three buttons on Chrome, and then go to Desktop Site, and it'll take it as if you're on a desktop site. And it should say in the top right, Download All, or you could download them individually. I'm going to download them all, and it should say, Zipping One File... So it will download all four of those things. And then let's wait for it to download. It should probably download it. Um, let us swipe left to go to the main page, go to internal storage, go to download, and you're going to wait. I think I have to stay on Chrome to for it to actually download. Preparing download, yep. Okay, so it just downloaded. So we go to download and you should see a Wii and then a bunch of 2018, whatever. So you wanna hold that down and then you want to go to more and then extract here or extract two and just press ok and it should make a folder called Wii and then you want to open that and then you should press Wii and then you hold down apps.zip and then extract two and then press ok so then you should see an apps folder and then you want to open this apps folder hold down this apps folder and copy it straight to your SD card swipe left SD card and just paste it straight here straight in your SD card press o paste and if you get that error or that select thing again, just select it, select your SD card. And if it doesn't work, just like I said before, just go to my files, go to downloads, go to apps, and just pay, copy and paste it in your SD card. So we've done that. But also, you need to make two folders. And then, well, actually, before you do that, um, just make sure you did exactly what I did. And if you open the, if you go to your SD card, if you go to your SD card and go to apps, there should be Cheat Manager and Gecko 1931. It should be exactly like that in, e in each of them. There should be two file three files in each of them. It should look exactly like that. So what you also need to do is make two new folders. And the bottom right says new and then make one called codes. Okay. And then a new one called TXT codes. Just like that. So you have an application or you have a folder called apps, codes, and TXT codes. In the apps folder, there's two folders, Gecko 1931, Cheat Manager. Also, go back to internal storage, go to download, and then open up the Wii thing. And then open up Wii, and then copy the Black Ops Zombies codes, copy all this stuff. Copy these three TXT co uh, codes, folders, TXT files, copy them straight to your SD card. And then go to TXT codes, and then paste it straight in here. And so, you have an apps folder. Cheat Manager, Gecko 1931, three files in each of them. So I want to do this so no one gets confused, so it looks exactly like mine. Codes, there's nothing in codes. TXT codes, there's three files in it. So now, what you want to do, if you followed my exact steps, you unmount the SD card and pop it in your Wii. Pop it in your Wii. You should open up the Homebrew channel as well. Um, let me open up the Homebrew channel. So I took the micro SD card on my tablet, I mounted it, let's open up the home channel, let's pop the micro SD card in, or the micro SD card adapter in, and we should see Gecko and Cheat Manager. So now we have successfully got the homebrew channel and got two applications, and the next video I will be showing you how to activate codes, how to turn on codes, and how to run Black Ops with codes.